All right, hey guys, Jonathan here. How's it going? Uh, I just want to make a video for you guys. Uh, I tried to upload one that I had made back on the 23rd of February. And um, anyways, I found mites in my uh, mealworm colonies that I had. My mealworms and my superworms. My mealworms had already gone to the beetle stage. And uh, that's where I found them. And I checked the superworms and sure enough they were in there. So the only thing I can think of is that I didn't change out the food that I had in there uh, frequently enough. Uh, I was doing it uh, every day. I'd put a fresh slice of potato in there, take the old one out. And uh, I guess that when I moved down to Texas, uh, I just I didn't pay attention to the mealworms as much as I did the tarantulas because they were my main concern, making sure that they got de-stressed and everything. So I'll just kind of show you my teas while I'm talking here. Um, so anyways, uh, to solve the problem, I put them, I put the uh, beetles, I, I threw the beetles away, I threw them outside so that they could live, I didn't kill them, even though it didn't really matter to me, but uh, then the superworms, uh, I put them in the freezer. Um, basically from what I know, you can take your tarantula out of its enclosure, put it in maybe a small housing container that you have or maybe even your ICU um, put it in there and then uh, you take your tea enclosure you put it in the freezer for 24 hours and that will freeze freeze kill the mites and that should take care of all the mites then what you do is you wipe down uh, the surface area that was in immediate contact with that enclosure so uh, this coffee table here is the coffee table that I cleared off. I took all my tarantula cages one by one, checked them each individually, and thankfully I did not find any mites in the tarantula cages. Um, so what I did is I took all the cages, set them on the bed, and then I took a... go get it. I have it behind the door here. I just took a Windex bottle that uh, has one part chlorine bleach, four parts water, or three parts water, or something. No. Anyways, 75% water, 25% uh, bleach solution. So I took that, I sprayed it on a paper towel, and uh, then I took the paper towel, and then I wiped down the bottom of the containers that were touching the bottom. So Shanty here, my Mexican red knee, I took and wiped the entire bottom of her enclosure and my Avic Metallica with the blue Critter Keeper lid that has the five slings on it. And uh, underneath Acura here, uh, that's on top, is uh, Ocean, my Chilean Blue Dwarf. And I did that with her enclosure as well, just the bottoms and a little bit on the sides. So that way it dis disinfects the area and uh, you shouldn't have any problems after that. If you do, just repeat the steps over and over until you get rid of them. And uh, just make sure you keep uh, your tea room clean. Um, keep the immediate area around the ground or the shelving dry, clean, and disinfected. If there's any food particles, search for that. Sometimes tarantulas... Um, the discarded waste of the prey item that they don't eat might still be in the enclosure and that could attract mites and so just make sure you check each tank very carefully um, go through the substrate and see if you can find any leftovers from what they may have eaten and uh, if you need to clean your substrate or completely take out the substrate and put new substrate in so anyways I just wanted to give you guys that update that I did have mites but uh, that was back on the 23rd that I found them. I did not find any mites in my tea enclosures. And to solve the problem, I freeze dried the ones that were in my mealworms. Of course, that's going to kill my mealworms, my superworms actually. But uh, I have a purpose for those now. I uh, got some hermit crabs out of the bay the other day. And. Uh, I actually have, uh, I think I counted 49 hermit crabs 
So what you see them in right now is only temporary enclosures, guys. This is not what I'm going to keep them in. Um, but you can't just keep one. you got to keep more than one. And I figured, well, why not just a nice little colony of them. So I've got them separated a little bit according to size. The bigger ones are in here. But uh, as you can see, they have their shells from out in the Bay Area, out in the wild. So they have some barnacles on them and stuff like that. I will be getting uh, different shells for them as they grow, the bigger ones. And then uh, replacing some of these other ones with uh, painted shells. Or I'll take these out and uh, I'll scrub them really, really good. I scrubbed them last night. I washed them to uh, kind of get some of the crap off of them. But uh, anyways, they're doing really good. And uh, that's the godfather back there. As you can kind of see, his shell compared to everyone else's shell. And these are the big ones, guys. But the godfather back there, Don Vito, is doing pretty good. So anyways, what I'll do is I'll take the superworms out of the freezer. I'll thaw them out as needed. And I'll feed them to the hermit crabs here. And uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy that. So anyways, what I will be doing is getting a container similar to Shanty's here but just a little bit bigger, and uh, I'll be putting fresh sand, fresh, fresh salt water in. Now these are marine hermit crabs, not land crabs, which you normally find at your local pet stores, or your pet shops, or your surf shops on coastal cities. Um, the first ones that I had were out in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I worked at a surf shop there while I was in the military. Didn't really need the job, I just kind of wanted something to do besides being in the Navy. So I did that for just a little extra cash, just for spending on whatever. So anyways, um, might seem to be uh, completely gone. And like I said, just take a bleach solution. You can do one part bleach, ten parts water, whatever kind of mixture you want. Um, I had kind of a large surface area and I was kind of doing a lot, so I really wanted to make sure that uh, it wasn't harmful to the teas in any way. Um, I did air out the room. I had the windows open while doing it. I had the teas off in a safe distance and just kind of wiped down the area uh, with that. So, and of course, never spray your bleach solution anywhere near your ventilation holes or directly on your tea. That should be an obvious no no. Hopefully, even the newest hobbyist would know not to do that. So, anyways, guys, just want to give you that update and the kind of bad slash good news that I had mites, but they're gone, and uh, we took care of it. So, anyways, thanks for watching.